How was your day today? Good. It was good. It was. You good. guys always ask me that. Good. 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 That's all. You have to ask me another question. <laughs> How was your day today? Good. How was practice today? <laughs> good. But I like that. A little bit better. A little bit cleaner today. Um, you know, I mean, you get into that, it's, you know, start doing some scout team work, a little better understanding of the tempo of practice. When you get into your game week, schedule next week, what's that going to be like any day as far as what you do in practice? Very similar to what we're doing right now. Uh, you know, next week, obviously the first game, you get a little bonus. We'll go, uh, you know, usually we don't practice on a Monday. And uh, this coming next week, we'll give them a Sunday off, a little practice on Monday, go full pads, and then start to uh, tail it back. When you look at your offensive line as a whole, how have they progressed since the day you got here, and, and what has contributed the most to that? You know, I, I think you have guys like Derek Sherrod, who's a good lineman, who's really come into his own. Very fortunate to have him here when we got here uh, with some talent. Some other guys that have played with some talent. Um, you know, John Hevesy, I think, is the best line coach there is. You know, I've been with John for 10, 10 11 years. I'm a long time now. <laughs> a long time John and I have been together. I've John Lung, I'm working with John Lunger. I've known my wife. So, uh, uh, and he says he's the best line coach in the country, best line coach I've ever been around. He does a great job developing them. But I think you've also seen that what really leads to it is John's development of the players and John's development of the unit and them playing together and, and believing in each other, uh, playing a, a, as one. That's the key to the offense. Malcolm Johnson, Sam Watts, have they been able to do much correct? Uh, a little bit, a little bit. You know, we're still protecting them right now. Uh, you know, they've been cleared to practice. Uh, you know, one of the things I want to do, especially guys coming off of injuries that they've had, is to not their first practice, put them out there live and go so we can get the red jerseys on them. But uh, they've been cleared to go forward, just protecting them still a little bit. Now. You said that they were to clean up. What were some of the things maybe cleaning up on? Well, I mean, not just the, how practice is run. You know, I mean, when you started changing scout teams for the first time and you're really getting to game practice and game planning, uh, it can be a little sloppy the first day. So I, I think just that uh, we got that corrected uh, on the film, how, what's expected, how the period is supposed to look, the, the effort, the energy level on the field. A couple of questions more for you as the special teams coach as opposed to the head coach. What, what has Heath Hutchins done in the offseason? Anything in particular he's done? I think he's really cleaned up. He's become much more consistent. You know, I think he, uh, a guy last year that, you know, ha has some talent coming out of junior college, but really cleaned up his consistency and, and become a pretty solid punter. You know, I mean, he had the leg strength, but last year you'd see a 60-yarder followed by a 30-yarder. You know, and this year you're seeing the consistency. Did you get the sense he was pretty hard on himself a lot last year? Yeah. Oh, oh kickers are hard on himself. we got to coach him up, manage those personalities that give him any separation of the kickers yet, or are you even worried about that right oh, now? No, I'm not worried about it, really. You know, I mean, both of them have played, so, you know, we're if we separate and just go with one over the other, then we're, I don't want to get stuck in a situation where we're not ready to play. And both guys are ready to play. Uh, you might see both of them in the first game just to, you know, depends how they're kicking that. I'm not checking through warm-ups to see who we're going to go with. Is tomorrow night any sort of scrimmage?